Hello, I'm Mandy Chessel. Um, I'm the leader of the Ajuria Open Source Project. Uh, I'm also a founder of a company called Pragmatic Data Research Limited, or PDR, um, and I'm the honorary president of the Institution of Elect Engineering Designers, the IED. I've been working in open source for about five years, and it's the basis of PDR's business. My open source journey began while I was working for IBM. At the time, I was a distinguished engineer with over 30 years of experience in software product design. The products I was working on were focused around data, um, and that um, caused me to work with many large organisations, helping them make better use of their data. And I was struck at the time by the fact that there was this common problem that they all suffered with, and that was metadata. Now, metadata traditionally means data about data. You're probably most familiar with metadata associated with the digital photograph. Before digital cameras, uh, we had our photographs printed on stiff paper and uh, we had to write on the back, you know, this was Auntie Flo's uh, birthday, it was on this date, uh, we were, we, you know, we, these were the people in the photographs. And the reality is most of us didn't do this. Uh, and so we're left with huge boxes of old photographs that um, we, we really don't know what they were about. Now today's digital photographs, where the cameras, sorry, take, use a format that includes metadata. Um, and that means that when you take a photograph, it captures where you were, what the camera settings were, so we know what the light levels were and all sorts of things like that, the date, the time. And so that gives us a good understanding of you know, the, 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 the situation that the data was captured, the old photograph was captured. Um, and so this gives us two major benefits. One, um, we, uh, we don't have to write on the back of the photograph anymore, uh, and that's a good thing, um, although we can add extra information to this metadata. Um, but we can also use it in so many different ways. So we can bring it into different applications, and it doesn't have to be the application owned by the, the, the camera manufacturer. Um, and we can do analysis on it. So you imagine taking photographs from a single point from lots of different cameras, and then we can use the camera metadata to uh, sort of normalise the image and understand what's going on in that location over a period of time. So standards are extremely important, and there are actually many metadata standards, but they're narrow in scope, so we've got the one for cameras, which just covers that one format. Um, and they're not actually widely implemented. Um, I think the, the digital f um, uh, media is, 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 is an area of great success, but a lot of business data, there is no coverage at all. Um, so businesses need this standardised metadata so they can do similar things to the processing that we do with digital photography. It's so much more than the structure and, uh, uh, and format of the data. We really must understand the systems it came from and the people that use it and how it's processed and its quality and its origin and its meaning and where it's located physically, the, the licensing, the legal frameworks that it's subject to and so many more things. And this metadata is most often missing. Uh, there are fragments of what we need in, in different tools, um, but they're locked in proprietary formats, they're very difficult to access and then are very hard to correlate, to, to link together, to create that picture that businesses need. And you might be thinking, well, why does this matter? The problem is that without this metadata, it prevents the wide and systematic use of data within the organisation, and that impacts its resilience and adaptability to new situations. And if you consider what's happened in the last few years with things like COVID and the most likely future impact of climate change, you can see this is, is, this is extremely important to businesses. So at IBM, we realized we had an industry-wide problem and it was too much for one company to solve. IBM itself has a long association with open source. It's made generous donations of software to various software foundations, as well as tasking employees to contribute to open source projects. It was therefore a natural choice to begin funding an open source project, along with our ING Bank and SAS, to create an open, source, open metadata ecosystem that should support today's businesses. And so the Ageria project was born and I was appointed the project leader, a role that I still have today. Together we identified the key metadata standards we needed and we knitted them together and filled the gaps to create a comprehensive set of open metadata types that uh, were um, wide enough to support to the needs of today's businesses. We also provided an infrastructure to simplify the sharing of metadata between the different tools and systems um, that across the organisation.
Ajira itself has been a major effort over the last four years and goes from strength to strength. With key contributions from IBM, ING, SAS, PDR, Atland and Atruvia, it's, uh, yeah, it's doing very well. And the reality is an open source project is based around a community of people from different um, companies with a shared vision. The company collaborates to create the project contents and then individual companies consume the results in their business as they choose. We're heavily supported in our project by the Linux Foundation. This provides us with legal expertise and also a help with maintaining and growing um, the community behind the project. My company itself, PDR, also focuses on expanding Ajiria's community by assisting other software vendors in incorporating Ajiria into their products and um, uh, so they can share metadata with other tools when they, they're sold into a customer. Um, and also helping businesses make use of Ageria to improve their operations. When I look back over the last five years, I have a tremendous feeling of satisfaction. I discovered I love working collaboratively because the results are always so much better when you have a variety of opinions from the consumers, the product owners um, and the people who are software experts. Uh, and so the results are just phenomenal. Um, and every week also I find I'm learning something new. Um, we're being constantly challenged to integrate new technologies uh, and to support different use cases um, as uh, different businesses come forward and, and ask for help. So thank you for listening and if you'd like to hear more about the Ajira project please visit us at https colon slash ajira-project.org.